everyone this is the circuit we built so far for a color mixer in the previous lesson now we'll add variable resistors to the circuit to make numerous combinations of colors so let's get started so first make sure you disconnect your battery from your circuit Let's review the circuit we built so far. So on your breadboard, you should already have the RGB LED. On sockets 12B to 15B, such that the longest pin of the RGB LED, that's the common negative pin, is on 13B. So make sure this is the longest pin. of your rgb led now let's move on to the next check the next thing there should already be a jumper wire which connects the negative pin of your led to the minus rail so you should have a jumper wire from socket 13a that is row 13 column a to negative rail as shown so check your breadboard and make sure you have these components on the right sockets on your breadboard let's move on to the next check so there should be three resistors on your breadboard A 220 ohms resistor is connected to row number 12. That's the red pin. And then a 100 ohms resistor should be on row number 14, 14C. That's the green pin. And you should have another 100 ohms resistor on row number 15. So make sure you have these three resistors on board, and we'll start with adding more components to the circuit now. So this is the circuit we'll build. We'll add three variable resistors to our circuit. So we'll have one variable resistor connected to the red pin. and then we'll have the second resistor connected to the green led pin and we'll have the third resistor connected to the blue led pin so let's get started let's get the first variable resistor so let's insert this variable resistor on row 1 3 and 5 in column h And now we'll connect the 220 ohms resistor from the red LED pin to the center pin of the variable resistor. So let's look at our circuit diagram. So this is the connection we are making from the red LED. We have a 220 ohm resistor which connects to the variable resistor. So move your 220 ohms resistor such that one pin is on row 12 column C which connects to the red LED and the other end of your variable resistor should connect to the center pin of your potentiometer so there So the second pin should go on row 
कॉलम एफ एंड देन द नेक्स्ट कनेक्शन इज फ्रॉम वेरिएबल रेजिस्टर टू द पॉजिटिव रेल सो लुक हियर इन द सर्किट डायग्राम the other end of the variable resistor is connected to the positive of the battery so we'll use plus rail for connections to the positive of the battery so we'll connect the first pin of the variable resistor to the plus rail so you need a jumper wire from row 1 column j to plus rail so you can pause the video here and make these connections before moving on to the next step now let's add the other two variable resistors to our circuit so you'll need two more variable resistors and you'll need to pull the 200 ohms resistors out of the breadboard for now we'll connect them again with the variable resistor so let's connect the second variable resistor this will go on row 13 15 and 17 column h So at this point on your breadboard you will have two variable resistors and just one 220 ohms resistor make sure you have removed the other two resistors from your breadboard and then we'll add the third variable resistor to our circuit So we'll insert it on row 26, 28 and 30. Again, on the same column as the other two variable resistors, so it'll go on column H. Now let's add the 100 ohms resistor to our second potentiometer. So this is the connection we are going to make. Take a look at the circuit diagram. The green LED needs to be connected to a 100 ohms resistor and the other end of the resistor is connected to the variable resistor. So let's go ahead and make this connection. So get your 100 ohms resistor and insert one end of your 100 ohms resistor on row 14, column C. So it connects to the green LED pin and insert the other end of your 100 ohms resistor on row 15, column F. to connect to the center pin of your variable resistor make this connection before moving on to the next step similarly we will add the third resistor between the blue led and the variable resistor so the third resistor that's the 100 ohm resistor goes in between the blue led and the variable resistor let's go ahead and make that connection so connect the third 
resistor that's the 100 ohms resistor from row 15 column C to the center pin of your third variable resistor so that's on 28 F Now we'll make the connection between the second potentiometer and the plus rail. Now take a look at the circuit diagram once again. So the other end of your potentiometer is connected to the plus rail. So one end of all the potentiometers are connected to the plus of the battery. So we'll connect the first pin of our second potentiometer to the plus rail. Our first pin is on row 13. So let's insert a jumper wire from 13J to plus rail. Similarly, let's connect the third variable resistor to the plus rail. So insert a jumper wire from the first pin of your variable resistor that's on row number 26 so 26 J so insert a jumper wire from 26 J to plus rail let's move on to the next connection and that's from plus rail to the plus of a battery. We'll use the 3 volts alkaline battery. So connect the plus rail to plus of your battery. So insert a jumper wire on the plus rail and with the help of alligator clips, connect it to the plus of your battery. And then we'll connect the common negative pin of our RGB LED to the minus of the battery. So the minus pin of our RGB LED is connected to the minus rail here. So let's connect a jumper wire. So let's connect a jumper wire from this negative rail to the minus of the battery. And there, we are all done with the circuit here. Now let's test it. So a few things to take care of in the circuit. Make sure the wires of your resistor do not touch each other or any of the pins of the LED. That'll cause a short circuit. <laughs> 